Caverns of Dreams takes me back to my childhood. It reminds me so much of some Nintendo 64 games, like Banjo-Kazooie and Donkey Kong 64. I have played the demo of this game during the Steam Next Fest, and I really liked what I have experienced. Besides the really cute and charming look, it also had some nice level design, an interesting setting and fun abilities. It really charmed me with the nostalgic aesthetics and the overall presentation. So I really would like to see more of this game. Another demo I have played during the Steam Next Fest was the demo of the Ramsey. In the Ramsey, you play as a cute squirrel, armed with a cotton gun. And this gun lets you create bouncy platforms when you hit specific looking walls or enemy projectiles. It really surprised me with how fun the cotton gun mechanics were and how inventive the design was of some sections. It's not really that challenging, but I enjoyed the demo for sure. It's just a fun little game that is really accessible to any kind of player. So make sure to check it out if this looks interesting to you. is a charming looking precision platformer that starts out fairly easy but becomes pretty challenging really quickly. I really like the charming visuals and the fun retro presentation. I haven't seen much of the story yet but what I have played when I tried out the demo was an enjoyable game with really fun level design. Dying in one hit can be brutal but if you like this genre then I highly recommend this. It's not a precision platformer I'm the most excited for personally, but it's for sure worth checking out. Finally, a game I know nothing about, but Promenade looks like such a fun adventure. I really like the overall presentation, I just hope the gameplay is not too slow paced or too easy. Apparently it's a collectathon game with metroidvania elements, so that makes me really excited. All the different worlds and characters look surreal and interesting. So I really hope a demo of this game will be playable soon. The trailer shows promising gameplay and fun level design. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Ogu and the Secret Forest demo was like a kids show coming to life. The gameplay was pretty easy and basic, but the visuals and the overall feel of this game make me so happy. I really like my games to have a bit of challenge, but this game is so peaceful and cute without becoming too cheesy or childish that I don't mind the easy difficulty. It also looked like it's going to have an interesting story, 
So if you are a diehard gamer, I'm not sure if you will enjoy this game. But if you are looking for a peaceful experience, then this could be the perfect game for you. Silver X, The Honest Elf is already playable in early access, but I'm waiting for the full release, because I just want to enjoy the full experience without any setbacks. First off, I really like the visuals. It's in my opinion the perfect balance between cute looking, but also mature looking. The aesthetics really make it accessible to new players, but I think the difficulty shouldn't be underestimated. It looks like it's going to have fast paced combat and pretty difficult boss fights. The only thing I'm not sold on yet is the level design, but the overall presentation looks really appealing to me. Scrap Deckle has such a playful art style and the gameplay looks fun but challenging. I also really like the tone of this game, but I hope it's still mainly focused on the gameplay and not on the comedy. It reminds me a bit of Undertale, but I really hope it will have its own identity. The combat and all your abilities look really flashy and smooth, so I hope your character controls well. Everything in this trailer makes me excited. So I'm probably going to try out the demo soon. Bo, Path of the Teal Lotus visuals are the reason I'm really excited for this one. The gameplay looks a lot like Hollow Knight, so I guess I already know the core mechanics, but the art style, the world building and the gorgeous set pieces really look like they are coming straight out of a Japanese painting. The world and its characters look super interesting and magical, so I can't wait to see more of this charming looking metroidvania. I don't know what more to say, I really hope it's going to be as great as it looks. A metroidvania with a really playful and cute art style is something I'm always getting hyped about. So you can imagine how I reacted when I saw the trailer of Little Nemo and the Guardians of Slumberland. I know the character of Little Nemo has been around for a while, but it really looks like the gameplay is going to be fun but challenging and the level design is going to be basic but with some nice twists. The trailer is really charming and I love how smooth the animation looks and how magical the setting is. I really hope this game is going to be an unforgettable experience.
Last Moon honestly looks like it's going to be a great successor to the Legend of Zelda franchise. Everything about this game makes me excited, but the visuals are just on another level. And the same goes for the gorgeous animation. If you love Zelda games or just adventure games in general, then this game should be on your wish list in my opinion. I don't know when it will come out, but I can promise you, I'm more than ready to be charmed by this magical adventure. Thanks for watching.